I'm Andre and I'm a retirement expert at Scottish Widows. Today I'm delighted to be joined by Nicola from Money Helper, the free government pension guidance service to talk about pension scams. Thanks Andre, it's great to be here and talk about such an important subject. Unfortunately, we're seeing the number of reports of pension scams increase at the moment, so it's vital that as an industry, we come together to help people look out for the signs of a scam and know what to do if they think they have been scammed. I completely agree. Scammers are thriving at the moment as they like to take advantage of uncertainty and situations like fluctuations in the stock market that can make people panic. As a result, pension values, as with all investments, have seen quite sudden drops and gains in value over the last couple of years. This leads to people looking at what to do with their investments, and it can make them more willing to switch providers or move money, and are often then at the mercy of scammers, some of which can make their offering seem very legitimate. With scammers' methods always evolving and becoming really very advanced, do you have any top tips on the signs people should look out for? Absolutely. I think the first one is really to stay alert and never give out personal information to someone if you're contacted unexpectedly or let anyone into your home if you think they're not genuine. It sounds simple, but in the moment, many people can become flustered thinking their pension provider is contacting them so they know they can trust them and so they share their details. But it's important to know that it's extremely rare that your pension provider would contact you out of the blue to discuss your pension. Yeah, thanks, Nicola. It's, it's a great point as at Scottish Widows, we'd send customers an email or letter uh, to let them know about any changes to their pension. Cold calling about pensions is illegal, so it's likely a scam if anyone contacts you to offer a free pension review or extra services or to encourage you to move your pension. As well as contacting you out of the blue, some of the language scammers use can be quite unusual. Could you give us maybe some examples? Yes, of course. Fraudsters often promise high returns with low risk, but in reality, pension savers are being scammed and left with nothing. So alarm bells should start ringing when you're being offered deals that are just too good to be true. A good example of this is if you're being offered access to your pension before age 55. In most cases, you can't access your workplace or personal pension until you're over 55. So if that's on offer, I'd err on the side of it being a scam. Other warning signs are if you're asked to invest in an unusual asset, withdraw money first or act quickly for the best deal. Scammers will often make everything feel very urgent so that you don't really have time to think it through properly before it's too late. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a great point, Nicola. Scammers don't tend to want to give you time to think about your decision, so they will try and rush it through. If you feel like you're being pressured to carry out a transaction, it is likely to be a scam. The reality is anyone can be the victim of a pension scam, no matter how financially savvy they may think they are. So it is important that everybody can spot the warning signs. Scammers try to persuade people to part with their money by making attractive sounding promises, but they'll often say they'll invest in unusual or high risk investments like overseas property and hotels, forestry, parking or storage units. It's also worth looking out for phrases like pension liberation, loan, loophole or one-off investments, as they can often be the sign of a scam too. So, Nicola, we've covered pension scams are on the rise. So if you think someone is trying to scam you, what should you do? Well, take some time to review the pension opportunity is genuine. Don't rely on the person contacting you to provide all the answers. Try and do some research yourself. You should ask for a name and address and carry out an online search. If you can't find them easily or it looks dubious, it's potentially a scam. You can contact your pension provider using a phone number or email address from their official website to check it was them who contacted you. And you should also check you're speaking to a regulated financial company. The easiest way to do this is on the Financial Conduct Authority website, or you can contact them over the phone. They have a team of people waiting to help. Their website is simple to navigate and you can search any financial advisor, firm or pension provider to check they're genuine. Yeah, again, great advice. And I'd really encourage people to check, check and check again, as it's really important to protect yourself from a scam, especially one that can result in losing your life savings. If you think you have been scammed, your first step if you're in England, Northern Ireland or Wales should be to contact the Action Fraud Team. 
They're the UK's national reporting centre for fraud and cybercrime. You can talk to their specialists via the website or over the phone. If you're in Scotland, you should call Police Scotland on 101 or contact Advise Direct Scotland. You should also let your pension provider know too so they can help in any way they can. Nicola, for people that have been scammed, I know Money Helper look to offer help and support too. Could you give us a bit more information on that? Yes, uh, we offer sessions to help people who've fallen victim to a scam. Scams are much more common than people think and in many cases people can lose all their pension savings which is devastating. As a result, we've set up sessions to support people and help them rebuild their pension savings. We offer a pension loss appointment if you think you've been scammed out of your pension savings and you need help to see if you can claim compensation or redress. You can call us on 0800 015 4402 and speak to our specialist team about the appointment or you can book by just emailing us on virtual.appointments at moneyhelper.org.uk. You can also read more about pension scams by visiting our website moneyhelper.org.uk and look for scams under the Money Troubles heading. Thanks, Nicola. And I'd also really encourage people to sign up to your sessions. It's a, it's a great resource to help people get back on track. Well, Nicola, it's been great to talk to you about pension scams, what to look out for, and the next steps for anyone who fears they may have been scammed. If anyone is looking for more information on pension scams, you can see our six signs of a pension scam on our website.